Good day, fellas, and all. Welcome to my Altscape server tour. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time around. I'm going to combine sort of showing off the features with a sort of progress episode, uh, just to try and mix it up a little bit. A bit of the same old sort of tours you see. I figure the best way to show off a server is to progress in it. So we'll see how that goes. But I will show a few of the features off first, just so you can kind of see what's in the server. So starting out, um, on here, you can actually go to the referral manager. Um, I've already claimed it, but you can talk to this person and tell him um, where you came from. And you can actually get quite a good start. You get a legendary mystery box, armor mystery box, and a weapon mystery box, and a blood money casket. So I will open these and see what we can actually get. Got 100k from that one. So that's like a currency that's pretty good. Got an obsidian plate body, which is very nice to start off. Morgan's javelins is not bad if I wanted to PK. Um, but uh, yeah, a weapon probably would have been better there. We'll show off a few of the features though. We have fully AFK uh, functioning zones. So you can actually train in thieving. Get farming, you can get fire making, you can get smelting. Uh, there's also an AFK shop. As you can see, the XP is quite strong, um, leveling up quite fast beginning off. Uh, as you can see, there's also a lot of wildy content. As you can see, Jar Jar is holding the wilderness key. Uh, there's tons of PVM and PvP content, which I'll show in a second. As you can see, though, in the AFK store, uh, you can actually get epic pet mystery boxes with custom pets, legendary mystery boxes, weapon mystery boxes, armor mystery boxes, uh, you can even get bonds just for AFKing. If you, um, yeah, really nice sort of progress if you're not able to grind at your screen. And I don't know, guys, it's beating a dead horse at this time. You guys know how I feel about AFK zones. If it doesn't have it, it's already a minus 6,000 for me. So um, the fact that it's got a very good AFK zone. Nice and chill, get your gains, get your AFK tickets, and you can get your donator rank that way as well. So after doing some training, there's a few other things I wanted to show. It should get a beginner weapon pack. Which I'm kind of interested. Um, I'm definitely going to pick PVM, but I'm just curious what's in both. Maybe I'll ask the owner about that one. But uh, when you start out, you do actually get this. You get your usual sort of armor set. This guy's looking sick, actually. What the hell? He is a demon. A pet as well. Anyway, uh, I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, so we'll pick PVM. Um, okay. Ooh, okay. This is new. Beginner chain mace, beginner's crossbow. Interesting. We'll go Crawlsbow 100%. That's, yeah, wow. So you can actually get yourself a beginner um, rev weapon. Definitely encourages me to want to just go straight to revs. Um, that's actually really nice. And the other thing... So um, when I was starting out, I actually got quite a few achievement stones. There's actually 155 achievements. Uh, I got Mystery Box. You can get a donated mystery box just from opening 10, and you get these boxes so easy, you'd have no issue. Um, what else did I get? Um, yeah, there's like starter achievements, there's heaps of starter achievements. So we've got 50 sand crabs here, 50 rock crabs, we've got revenant hunter, so I could do that for emblems. And there's actually a ton of um, custom achievements on here. Speaking of customization, um, this, has, this is probably one of the... Um, Longest lists of collection logs I've ever seen. Actually insane. I feel like I'm in heaven. Um, you've got the usual bosses, but there's a lot of custom bosses as well. You've got this one here is a new boss. We've got heaps of custom bosses that you can... Uh, heaps of custom items as well. Upgraded Avernic Defender. 10 plus accuracy and 2 strength. Here have boxes. There's heaps of custom items on this server. It's really like so much to do. you got your regular boss bosses as well and all these um well even the regular bosses have different drop tables like Fermi nuclear smoke devil dropping mystery boxes got chad you can actually get armor oh, deal god this is cool like all the all the boring collection logs um that you're used to like like jad has you know has mystery boxes at least and like a few other things on the drop table so even the plain bosses sort of have um their own Thing. And heaps of key drop tables. There's three tiers of Laren's keys, which is absolutely insane to me. Being a wildy man myself, uh, you know I'm for that. And in the other, uh, there's Ancient Revenants. 
There's just so many custom items on here. Chambers of Secrets. Get raid mystery boxes from that. There's just so much. It looks like there's just like heaps, heaps, heaps to do. I do want to quickly show off the daily system as well. So I think it was worth showing off. So you can actually choose what... Ah, uh, there's so many dailies as well, by the way. You can choose whether you want um, PVM, PVP or other. Or you can do them all if you want. You're not limited in that way. Uh, but you got your Slayer here. 15 Wilderness Tasks. You can do Core Battle Mages. Battle Mages are really good on here, I think. I think you can get the capes that way. You've got raiding. Uh, you've got heaps of dailies in the PVM. And then you've even got other dailies. You can do, like, skilling. That's pretty cool. Um, I 100% think more will be added in the near future because there's so many updates um but yeah that's pretty cool 25 laps of a wilderness drill just gets an extra cash makes that agility grind a bit less boring and if you're into pvp they've got dailies for that as well which is pretty cool so for item upgrading on here they've uh made a little sort of area there's like a smithing area here and uh also the forging table is on this weapon rack which i think is pretty cool uh we'll check out some of these upgrades there's quite a lot um, yeah, so you got like the ancient status Warhammer and the blood money sort of the currency used for all these upgrades. Um, but there's a lot of different ones. You got the enchanted mall, you've got the upgraded crawls, bro. Uh, let's see, upgraded version of crawls, bro effects work outside of well, so that's pretty cool. You can um, actually use that when you're not in the wieldy. So we got the same effects, you got magna blowpipe, heaps of different uh, upgrades on here. Check the armor. Ooh, okay. Enchanted max kit. Interesting. Uh, and you can actually examine all the items on here, and it gives you a sort of description. Best in slot cape for all three styles, plus 5% drop bonus. Vernal max cape, frost imbued. Wow, there's actually heaps to go for on here. I didn't realize how many items there was. Enchanted totomic body. Actually, so many different items to go for. Tormented bracelet. You've got twisted helm. Zerka Necklace, you can even upgrade your Slayer Helms to Imbued, upgrade your Ancestral. Quickly check out Miscellaneous, have a look. Grand Key, damn. I actually really like this, it's just like heaps of, um, even a looting bag upgraded, what the heck? Five looting bags, 45% chance. Ability to teleport you from any wilderness from any level and gives 15% drop rate boost. Yeah, this is sick. There's actually so much to upgrade on here. So, that about wraps it up. I'm going to train a bit, get to my um, girls' bow. I'm actually going to check out the robes after this. Um, but, yeah, the owner's extremely active. The staff team answered all my questions when I was new, just trying to learn a few things myself, because obviously I don't know everything about this server. Uh, but yeah, there's tons of content to go for, and there's like updates every, I mean every single day. The guy is absolutely grinding right now. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out a new server, a really nice community, make sure you check out the links in the description. It helps a lot. Feel free to join me in-game, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.